Let's solve this together. It says x raised to the power of 4 is equal to 3 raised to the power of 4. We're going to solve for the value or values of x in this question, okay? Now, first things first, we can say from here that we have x raised to the power of 4 minus 3 raised to the power of 4 to be equal to 0, okay? Now, from here, we can say, recall the law of indices that say that a raised to the power m all raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m multiplied by n, okay? So from here, we can change these to x raised to the power 2 squared minus 3 raised to the power 2 squared, okay, is equal to 0. As you can see, this is because of the difference of two squares. Now, the difference of two squares say that if I have a squared minus b squared, it's equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b, okay? Now, from here, we are going to have um, x squared, okay, minus 3 squared, multiplied by x squared plus 3 squared to be equal to 0, okay? Now, when the product of this is equal to 0, it's either the first one is equal to 0 or the second one is equal to 0. So it's either that x squared minus 3 squared is equal to 0, okay? Now, this is another difference of 2 squared. So we apply the same law. We have x minus 3 multiplied by x plus 3 to be equal to 0, okay? Moving on from here, we can say the product of this is equal to 0. So it's either that x here is equal to, okay, for the first one, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 3. Or x plus 3 is equal to 0. Implied that x is equal to minus 3. And so our first answer for x is that x is equal to plus or minus 3. Okay? Now for the next condition, we have that x squared plus 3 squared is equal to 0. Okay? Now if you look closely, this is a bit different from what we had initially. This is plus. So this is the sum of two squares. So which says that a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus bi multiplied by a minus bi, okay? So apply this law here, now we're going to have um, x minus 3i multiplied by x plus 3i to be equal to 0. From here, we can now say that x is equal to 3i of minus 3i. Hence, x is equal to plus or minus 3i or plus or minus 3. Okay? So, these are the four answers for x in this question. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.